Hey guys, um, I was browsing around on Facebook the other night and I noticed an advert for this packed coffee. Um, and I just I saw that they did Nespresso pods as well, but also they do like a brewing kit and they do they make their own ground coffee I think. Um, so I just thought I'd order some and check the, the Nespresso pods out and see what they're like. But they also had an offer where you get like a free brewing kit with it. Um, I just thought I'd order it because I'm sure that if I'd seen that advert, a lot of you will too if you're into coffee. So I just thought it's just arrived today. I'll just open the package up, show you what you get, and then we'll have a look at the Nespresso pods and have a closer look at the brewing kit as well. So it's called packy. I started opening it and I thought, oh, I best actually show people this as they might want to see what it's packaged up like. So remember, it's packed coffee, this. I'd never heard of them before, um, but I just thought, I've got a box here. I'm hoping this has got some espresso capsules in. Let's see. I'll just, uh, how do we open this up? There we go. Just there. Oh, wow. I was only expecting 10. They've sent me 50 here as an introductory offer. Um, the, I only paid £5, so I hope that that's not a mistake. But I went for the Brazil one. Um, intensity, where does it show it? It doesn't show an actual intensity compared to Nespresso. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out of 10. Um, it's quite a nice branding, isn't it? Compatible pods. So let's just, um, I'll just open this box up and see what they look like, the pods. So you can see that's quite good. Um, I've noticed, you might have noticed my other compatible um, pod videos. The Aldi ones, the, the top was very soft and it wouldn't pierce properly. This one seems a lot firmer, so hopefully that will be good. The pod seems reasonable quality. In a minute I'll check what that's made out of, whether it's aluminium or plastic or what, and I'll let you know whether it's recyclable. But that's the pod. Like I say, this is the branding. Packed coffee, and they've sent me 50 pods on my introductory offer it says uh, what goes into a packed coffee pod 100% speciality grade ind individually tailored roast profiles freshly ground coffee sealed in tight which it does seem to be works with most Nespresso compatible machines so obviously you want to check that 100% recyclable aluminium cases so, or aluminium so that's answered that question it's recyclable um, and free delivery direct to your door. So let's say I paid £5 and they've sent me 40 or 50 pods there. Looks like 40 actually. 40 pods for £5 introductory offer. I think when I looked at the subscription it seems to renew. It seems to renew at about um, 18 95 or something. So I don't know how many pods you get for that but I'll look into that and let you know. The other thing they sent me which made me get the offer really because my wife she likes filter coffee as well. Um, she puts it through the cafetiere, but her cafetiere is on the way out. So I just thought I'd see what this uh, brewing kit's like that they were giving away for free with it. So it's just that. And you've got a little scoop for your coffee. You obviously put that on top of your mug. And then there's some filters inside here. They give you plenty of filters with it as well. So £5 introductory offer. We'll see how we go on with it. Right, so we'll just make a couple of coffees with these packed um, Nespresso pod capsules and we'll see, we'll make an espresso, or we'll make a quick cappuccino and see what they taste like. So I'll just set the aeroccino going. We'll quickly run the first shot through. It's got a bit of a cloudy look to it, it's not a really rich colour but obviously it doesn't affect the taste, we'll see, see how it tastes. So I'll just pour that one away or else my milk's going to finish too quickly. I'll just pop another capsule in for our cappuccino.
So the Arachino is coming up to being finished now. This is the Arachino 4, by the way. I reviewed this well. I unboxed it recently. I'm going to be doing a review on it and how to use it. Um, so if you want to know that, you want to know more about this um, contraption here, then subscribe to the channel and you'll find out more in the future. That's finished now. We'll see how foamy this comes out. It's a, it's a good Arachino. Look at all that foam. So... This is, just to remind you, this is packed coffee. I've seen loads of them on Facebook, the adverts, so I just thought for £5 I'll give it a try, see how we get on. Uh, I'll just taste the espresso. It's it's quite nice. It's, it, it's alright, it's quite nice. Uh, I don't know if it's as good as the Nespresso ones, but it, it's, it is quite nice actually. It's got a nice, nice taste to it. That's the Intensity 8 Brazilian one. I'll just try it as a cappuccino. Yeah, I do it. I enjoy that as a cappuccino. That's nice. It's what it is. It's a bit milder, I think, than I expected it to be. With it being an intensity eight out of ten, I thought it would really hit you. But it's got quite a subtle taste to it. And actually, I can. I'm no. I've said this in the past. Um, <clears throat> I'm no barista, man. I wouldn't class myself as an expert in coffee, but. I can actually taste the almond and the dark chocolate coming through. Not so much the cherry, but I can taste the almond and the dark chocolate. So it is accurate to what it said. Um, we test out. I'll, I'll check out the price of the pods when they're not on offer, and maybe come back to you and let you know the answer to that. But that's the pack coffee, and don't forget, we're also going to be looking at um, testing out this brew kit that they've sent us as well. Um, so my wife's into that kind of coffee, so we'll try making a coffee with that and see how we get on. If you're into cafetiere coffee okay so I've just had a look on the packed website and I just wanted to go into a little bit more about the company because I understand better now how they work and what they're aiming for and um, the pods when you get a subscription through them the subscription it is a, it's more of a plan than a subscription so it's easy to cancel out of there's no minimum term or anything like that and it's good to know that um, you can sort of change the length as well. So I said that it cost, I think it was £18.95 to have a plan. But you can sort of move the dates around on that. So that could be a three-day plan, it could be a 15-day plan, or it could go all the way up to 60 days when you created it. So you don't have to pay £18.95 a month, you know, it could be every couple of months. So that's good to know. Um, the pods themselves, when you do it through a subscription, they cost about 47 pence a pod. Now, obviously, that's not cheap. It's more than a lot of the ones on the Nespresso site. But what they're aiming for, if we look here, again, on the box, they're aiming for bean quality. So they don't. it says on the website that they don't go for any um, B-grade or C-grade uh, beans. They go for, like, top quality A-grade bean all the time. And they also, as you can see up here, it's saying you get world-class coffee, the farmers get a premium price, everyone's happy. So they're looking to reward the farmers as well for their work. I'm, I'm not vouching for any of this because I haven't looked into the history of the company. I haven't followed them around the globe, see what they're doing. But this is what they're claiming. So that's why possibly they cost a little bit more. Um, aluminium, al aluminium casing. They are 100% recyclable because they have an aluminium casing. Um, so that's good. Individually to rose profiles, I haven't concentrated much on that. So I'd have to come back on that. But it's sealed in tight. As I say, with a lot of compatible pods, you can have problems with them not piercing correctly. With these ones, it seemed to it seemed to work all right, and you can just feel that they they're made right, and free delivery direct to your door. So, it, there are, I should I wish now that I'd have ordered more different. I've got the Brazilian one. I wish I'd have ordered. You can get when you order your subscription, you can get a, or you, you order your trial a mix box instead with the four different coffees in. Now. The four different coffees that they had were the Rwandan coffee, um, a Honduras one, a Brazilian one, uh, which I've got, and a Colombian one. And I have to say that my experience from ordering to delivery was absolutely great. Like, I ordered the other night and I got an, an email straight away from the company telling me when my order was coming that it had been received and it, all the way along the process I got updates your order's been shipped Royal Mail your order's on its way it's arriving today between this time and that's and the website was so easy to navigate I haven't been I haven't been paid 
to do this review. You know, I just saw this on Facebook the other night. I thought, right, five quid, I'll give it a try and give it a whirl, you know. So I don't have to say these things, but I just really, I've got to I'd say, I did enjoy the process of ordering and I have to commend them for that. Um, the coffee, we've tasted it and I thought it was nice. Like I say, I could get the hope and the hints of um, the elements that were supposed to be coming through and it was a nice coffee. So I think at five quid on a trial, it's easy to, it's, it seems easy to cancel. I haven't cancelled mine yet or I might not see how we go. We'll see how we go. But, it was a really good I would definitely recommend giving it a try at five pounds you get a free that free um, brewing kit as well so I think the company personally I think that they've probably started off doing ground coffee in bags and they have a lot more choice in that area at the minute there's just the four capsules for Nespresso pods so it seems like maybe they've gone newer into that um, but yeah just there's just a little bit more about the company the, the final thing, it says works with most Nespresso compatible machines. Now obviously it won't work with the virtual machine because the virtual machine doesn't accept compatible pods anyway and they're a completely different shape. So it won't work with those. But interestingly, it also doesn't work with a couple of the Nespresso machines. I think it was... Um... Yeah, so I've just looked this up again. Um, it is compatible with quite a few Nespresso machines. So like the Inicia, the Cities, the Expert and the Pixie. It's compatible with all those, and it says the following machines can use pack pods with a slightly longer brew time, and that's the U, the Prodigio, and the Ascenza. But obviously your Tassimos, your Keurigs, the Dolce Gustos, it's not going to work with any of those, and it won't work with virtual line machines, where it says Gemini or Amelia built-in pod machines. It won't work with those, so that's a good thing to know. So I hope you found all that information useful. The final little thing that I, I just wanted to say is just also there's a 12 month um, best before on the capsules once they're in the, the aluminium casing. So that's a little bit more about the company. I'm impressed with them, but we'll see how we go going forward. But thanks for uh, watching the video. Please subscribe. If you've liked the video, if it's found it helpful, then please you know give it a like so your friends can see it or share it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.